So, uh, can you tell me what it's like being on a documentary? It's, it's a real emotional journey. I think it's important to process things in front of an audience, to spread the word and make sure everyone's informed. So I'm enjoying it, but I am filled with a strange sense of trepidation and excitement. I see, I see. And what do you think about <laughs> God? Because I can't get God. paid until I do oh, this. Wow. Shh, we're in a documentary. So how much of your documentary is based on fact? Um, a good 3%. I, I don't toe the line, mate. Oh, okay. I, I make it something special. In fact, what I think is people should pay me to do the things I do instead of looking like they're in pain whilst I do them. So, um, you intend to push the boundaries of your art all the time? Yes, boundary. I don't think people... My critics do not understand art. I push boundaries. They say I, I murder people and murder insects. That, that's not what I do. It's not about the, the murder, the, the massacre. It's about, it's about the meaning and the, the expressionism. represents my decaying soul, mate. Okay, so uh, can you set your name for me, please? Grace. So you're Ashley, correct? Yes. And why, why do people call you that? Well, actually, they don't call me that. Okay, hello, and your names are? I am Jeffrey, and this is my husband, Susan. Hello. Could, could you state your, your name for us? Yes. What is it? Oh, what do they call you? Can you spell that for me? H J K K K L K J J F D D M. Those last few things you said weren't letters. It's okay. Okay, can you state your name for us? Hello, I am Anna. And that was my pet. the posters for your life. Okay, um, and what are you eating here? Some delicious chips. Wow. Is that all you eat? Yes. Wow. And I eat every single day. How nutritional are they? Not very. Alright, and what are you doing at Canberra College, Grace? Hmm. Well, it depends what day it is. T today's a Friday. Yes. So today I am doing drama type things. So what do you two do for a living? Oh, well, I'm a cook. I, I, I cook in a bakery. And ironically enough, I'm a hired assassin paid to poison people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that, is, that is ironic. And um, how long have you been a student at, at Canberra College? This is an interview. Oh, right, this is a documentary. Okay, um, I've been here for years. Um, and what can you tell me about your, what you're doing here? I am filling out documents for I am a legal aid. A legal aid? Yes. For whom? Grace. It's classified and I can't really talk about it. Um, how did you two meet? We met, oh, oh, that fateful night oh. in Paris, oh. I believe it was. Oh, yes. You were merely a budding waitress at that time, and I contracted you, manipulated you, some might say, without your knowledge, into feeding an ambassador a leek spiked with cyanide and mustard. I figured it out soon enough. Yes, but you did. But yet, you didn't report me. Well, that's not how it all started. Um, stood by me through through all my exploits, and I used my my assassin hoard of money all to fund poison. your career. All that poison, delicious poison. Wow. Okay. So, what are you two doing at Canberra College? Oh, well, uh, you're the hit book. I I do, but I I do not want to make it explicit. It, this is, of course, very hush hush, very so so. But um, you you are taking under your wing some of the nutritional studies students. Oh yes, as I go nutritional <laughs> studies <laughs> as, as I go about. <laughs> My business as a student in the school. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, c can you tell me about where you were born? I was born, and so I shall die, alone in a ditch among the rabbits and the trees. The school system 
cannot be rated in the same way it rates its students. To do so would be the utmost of hypocrisy. I will not standardize what seeks to standardize me. I will not be part of this degradation. I don't know. I, you see, it, it does have its flaws. Of course, everything has its flaws. Mm -hmm. Except you, my oh. darling. Oh, you have my. no flaws at all. You no. Oh. Ah! But um, I, I must say that while the school system does have its structural integrity somewhat compromised at times, it allows me and my darling husband to go about our business. And for that, I am exceedingly grateful. The school is a part of the system. The system is in us. We carry the system ourselves. We are the system. The school system? Hmm. Well, Not very it depends on how you want to rate the school system. I want you to rate the school system. Me? Yes. Hmm. Well, it's something that's hard to rate, actually. So... Hmm. What about the allegations that you murdered your cousin? Oh! Oh, those. What? How would you rate the school system? I would rate it using ducks. Okay, how many ducks? It's not a question of how many ducks, it's how good the ducks are. Okay, how good are the ducks? Premium ducks. So, the school system is premium ducks? Yes. Poorly. <laughs> What's that on scale of low ducks to high ducks? That's not how it works. <laughs> Why are the ducks high? Oh my god. Jeez. It's better than those wine tasting badges. Um, I got quite famous off those actually. You so, released an so album titled jobs. I Murdered My Cousin. Yes. What was the artistic decision behind that? Well, um, there was that rumour that I murdered my cousin, so I thought, why not make it an album cover? The garden is but a part of us all. Don't we all have a garden within ourselves? I like the garden. I am at peace here. The magpies join us in celebration of life and sunshine and we feed them our processed goods, and they in turn feed us with their song. It is a peaceful place. Fine. Why? Who wants to know? The garden hasn't been saying anything, has it? It's a bit drab. I could spruce up a few bakery items. I would enjoy that. I cannot stand it. I see a tree. And my immediate instinct is to chop it down. I see a bird, and my immediate instinct is to crush its skull under my foot. Oh, I am yeah. a destructive personality. That's incredibly oh, psychotic of you. For me to be out, for me to be outdoors in such an environment is incredibly risky, and as such, I feel I feel very volatile and unprotected a lot of the time. And then in the songs, reveal the dark truth. It bores me. The mighty sit in it because it pleases me. It's dark. I like that. It doesn't have food in it, which um, has me, I, I can't, I can't comprehend. The CC pack. Hmm. Well, I like no, the theatre aspect of it, but I don't like that it's called CC pack. What would you rather it be called? Hmm. Canberra College Drama and Arts Centre? No. The Theatre Extravaganza. Or something like that. It's Anything. generic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> because the dance and that, they're still in there, but the theatre is the main thing that the people come to see back for. They don't dance in the theatre. Yeah, people do dance in the theatre. Yes, exactly. So what's the point of having a studio? Oh, okay. Just, yes. Um, more questions? What's CC pack? The, uh, the Canberra College Performing Arts Centre. Oh. Oh, that's CC pack. Is there another CC there? No. Shut up. Why are you asking me these questions? Poorly. <laughs> Does anything please you? No. Um, I do love the times we have where we mime food. Oh, yes. Our delicious mime candlelit Ooh. dinners. But you see, as, as I am a, a, an assassin and I manipulate, acting is merely part of my pedigree. Oh, well, let's do it now. Let's do it, oh, let's do it now. Let us, let us mime. Ready? Here is your plate. Ooh. 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 Will you give me my Here plate? Here, Susan. Here is your plate. Oh, thank you, Susan. I give you a serving of spaghetti. Oh, and I will give you your delicious Worcestershire sauce. Ooh. 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 Excellent. Here is a glass of... Why? Oh, and in here is your apple juice Ooh. in a cup that looks like piss. <laughs> and we twiddle, we twiddle, 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 twiddle. I've dropped my fork. Oh, 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 o
Talented. I have been on the radio many times, uh, general, generally about heathens, but uh, sometimes, sometimes about my work with ducks. Could you recite and some of your heathen speeches to us? Uh, let me just get into character. Character. Heathens. <laughs> They're gonna be smited, and it's gonna happen soon. Because they've been acting like heathens, and that's what heathens get. I read it in this book. I don't actually have a book, I am miming this book. But usually, even though I'm on the radio, I will be holding a book. It doesn't matter what book it is, because of course they can't see it. Uh, so I can say it's a Bible, or, uh, you know, I can, I can say it's the Golden Compass, but no one will actually know. But I do hold books, and I find it really helps with my, uh, my character work, my speeches. But, but you, you, of course, cannot actually read. Oh, no. No. Of course not. Um. <laughs> I'm a character. You understand how acting works? Oh, um, I could, or I could let you buy it. <laughs> Can't you tell me the name of the book before making me buy it? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm buying. I suppose. It's called My Life as a deep, meaningful actor who is also a cat. Wow. Yes. That, that, I, I will buy that, actually. I hope it's not too expensive. Oh, no. I'll, I'll give you a copy and sign it I believe that's not oh, the thanks. first book you've written, isn't it? Um, you also wrote a book called Wine Tasting for Badgers, isn't that right? Yes, yes. Didn't well, they also publish a journal where there were entries about the allegations of you murdering your cousin? Yes, I did that as well. They're, they're both quite good. And Didn't the RSPCA get on to you about giving wine to badgers? Oh no, they actually supported what I was doing because they thought that it was something that had never been done before oh, and why could badgers <laughs> not taste wine before? I mean, yeah, the RSPCA were kicking themselves in the head. Oh, why didn't we think of this first? Well, they, they wanted to see how sophisticated the taste of badges was, so they supported me fully. Oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. We go, we go fine. Yeah, we, we, we do. We, we do things. Bakery items. <laughs> we make bakery items. Uh, and my, my, my weapons collection. <laughs> we're quite resourceful. I like that you're always up for a good play. I worry that if I stop myself from doing bad, I will be forced into a situation in which I can only do worse. How would that happen? If I do not have my violent outlets, then who is to know what happens once my rages are suppressed? What happens when everything builds up and I suddenly lash out at an unsuspecting documentary maker and skin and bury them under a cat? What, what, what if you go to therapy? What if I kill the therapist? What if I burn down the office? What if I take the lovely receptionist into another room and lock her there and keep her there as my slave? I can't know what will happen. That unreliability is something I cannot afford. That is why I'm so glad that Susan is a constant in my life. Jeffrey is very unpredictable at times, but I am a constant. Uh, he loves my bakery. What do I see myself doing after college? I see myself doing lots of things. Hmm. I may kill some people. I might write a piece, I may act in a few plays, kill some more people. Of course, I don't mean actually kill people in until people ask me. But yes. You don't you don't happen to know what a student called Jeffrey do you? Um why do you ask? I'm I'm experienced at being in documentaries. Not here. A good pair of boots must always be above the knee. These boots are mediocre. I can't share that right now. Why are you asking me these questions? Uh, Find my political motivations? That's not relevant. I want that stricken from the interview. I would like to add that your camera is a hidden eye into a soul that has not yet found itself. Whose soul? I don't know. It was June 1981.
Darlene and I had just settled down back at home. I'm so glad. To be honest, I just slapped a few vegetables together in a pot and called it Cordon Bleu for her because she likes French things. Did he, did he like your meal? No, she said it was poison. In fact, she got food poisoning and had to go to the hospital. Are you two she still died. Together? No. Why do you want to know about Jeffrey? Goodbye. Don't be me. Don't be you. Don't be anybody. <laughs> I, I seek to only understand. Is that what you do? Understanding is not what art is. Art is about feelings. And what do you feel? All right. Well, um, is there is there any final mission statement you'd like to leave us with? Um. Hope that. Documentaries, and I hope to make some good documentaries about my friends. And I hope that you all pay to see them because I am trying to. school frat boy putting nerds in lockers and waiting to see how long it takes them to get out, at which point he high-fives them and they punch him in the face. Oh